welcome to Trinad chemistry classes in this video I am going to discuss about the intermediate second year chemistry topic ethers this is an organic chemistry topic in this video I am going to discuss about the what are ethers how ethers are named in IUPAC nomenclature how ethers are named and uh, preparation methods various preparation methods of ethers this video may be useful this topic may be useful for uh, not only for intermediate students but also for any competitive exams such as JE mains EPSET NEET MSET such exams what are ethers generally ethers are called as the derivatives of ethers are called as the derivatives of ethers are called as the derivatives of water in which two hydrogens are replaced with in which two hydrogens hydrogens are replaced with alkyl or aryl groups alkyl or aryl groups so we know that water is the structure is like this so in which if two alkyl two hydrogens are replaced with two alkyl groups then or aryl groups this is called an ether what ethers are considered as the derivatives of derivatives of water replacing both the hydrogens by alkyl group or aryl group alkyl group or aryl group and uh, ethers are also Ether are also considered as the anhydrides of alcohols. Ether are also considered as the anhydrides of alcohols. Anhydrides of alcohols. Ether are also considered as the anhydrides of alcohols. That is without water. We know that alcohols are the compounds which containing OH group. And here like this, if you see if their condensation is occurring and it is forming as a ROR that's why ethers are also considered as the anhydrides of alcohols ethers are also considered as the anhydrides of alcohols ethers are the derivatives of water in which two hydrogens are replaced with two alkyl groups or aryl groups or one alkyl group and aryl group and also ethers are also considered as the anhydrides of alcohols in which that water without water that's why these are called anhydrides of alcohols anhydrides of alcohols now how to name the ethers how to name the ethers in common system simply ethers are classified into two types one is simple ethers and another one is mixed ethers ethers are classified into two types one is simple ethers and second one is mixed ethers simple ethers means whatever two alkyl groups attached to the oxygen are same then that is called a simple ether if two different alkyl groups are attached it is called a mixed ether for example if you take ch3 ch so here both the al al alkyl groups are both are alkyl groups are same that's why it is a simply suppose if you take ch3 o c2h5 this is a mixed ether this is a mixed ether because two different alkyl groups are present so ethers are classified into simple and mixed ether if same alkyl groups are present it is called a simple ether if two different alkyl groups are present it is called a mixed ether it is called a mixed ether and uh, ethers are having general molecular formula general molecular formula cn h2n plus 2 o cn h2n plus 2 o ethers have the general molecular formula cn h2n plus 2 plus o now how to name the ethers in common system ethers are named as dialkyl ethers in common system ethers are named as dialkyl ethers 
For example, if you take CH3, O CH3. So this alkyl group is methyl. That's why it is called diethyl ether. Diethyl ether. Suppose if you take C2H5O, C2H5. It is called di. Sorry. It is. This is called dimethyl. Dimethyl ether. This is called diethyl ether. Diethyl ether. In, for example, if you take mixed ethers, this is called ethyl methyl ether. Ethyl methyl ether. Ethyl methyl ether. In dialkyl, in common system, this is the common way of common system of naming the uh, ethers. In common system, ethers are named as dialkyl ether. Dialkyl ether. If it is a mixed ether. It is named as ethyl methyl ether. First, the in alphabetical order, whatever the alkyl group comes in first, that should be written first followed by the next one. Here, ethyl, this is methyl. That's why it is a ethyl methyl ether. Ethyl methyl ether. This is the naming of ethers in common way. In IUPAC system, in IUPAC system, ethers are named as the alkoxy alkanes. In IUPAC system, ethers are named as the alkoxy alkanes. Alkoxy alkanes. Alkoxy alkanes. For example, if you take CH3O CH3, it is named as the. You see here, one carbon is there. That's why this is the root word meth in, and uh, this entire group is alkoxy. Here, alkyl group is what methyl. Plus oxygen. That together we are calling it as a methoxy. Methoxy methane. This is methoxy methane. Methoxy methane. Right in IUPAC system, ethers are named as alkoxy alkanes. If it is a simple ether, simple ether or mixed ether. Right here they are named as the alkoxy alkane. For example, if you take C two H five. O C two H five. If you take C two H five, O C two H five. It should be named as ethoxy ethyl. Ethoxy ethyl because here group is ethyl group plus oxygen. That's why this is called ethoxy. Ethoxy, right? And this is the ethyl. That's why its name is ethoxy ethyl. Ethoxy ethyl. Ethoxy ethyl. It should be written as ethoxy ether. If either is a mixed ether, then how to write? If either is a mixed ether, how to name it? Then also alkoxy alkane should be given. But the carbon, the alkyl group with lower number of carbons should come as the alkoxy group. For example, if you take CH three O C two H five, you see as per the IUPAC rules. The longest carbon chain has to be selected. That's why here this is the longest carbon chain. That's why it is ethyl. Then this group is methoxy. This group is methoxy. That's why in IUPAC nomenclature, if to name the mixed ether, the alkyl group with more number of the more number of carbons should be written as the parent chain, longest carbon chain. Then. Whatever group is the whatever alkyl group with less number of carbons should be written as the substituent. For example, if you take this one, CH three O, CH, CH three CH three. For example, if you take here also two different alkyl groups are present. This is a mixed ether. Then one, two, three. So here this is the corresponds to methyl and oxygen methoxy. That's why it has to be written. Two methoxy propane. Two methoxy propane. For example, if you write one methoxy propane, one methoxy propane, then what is its structure? CH3, O, CH2, CH2, CH3. This is called one methoxy propane. One methoxy propane. Right. So this is the way to write the to name the ethers. 
uh, in IUPAC and in common system. Let me take, uh, let me give one, one few more examples on this, how to name the uh, others. If you take this one, this is one is alkyl and another is ethyl. Generally, in common system, this is written as methyl phenyl ether. Methyl phenyl ether. Methyl phenyl ether. It is in a common system, it is written as methyl phenyl ether. Methyl phenyl ether. Right? And in a UPEC system, it is written as the methoxy benzene. In a UPEC system, methoxy benzene. Commercially, it is called as the anisole. Commercially, it is called as anisole. Commercially, it is called as anisole. Methoxy benzene. Commercially, it is called as anisole. But in common system, it is written as methyl phenyl ether. Methyl phenyl ether. Methyl phenyl ether. Right? This is the way. Let me give one more example. CH3. CH2 O C CH3 CH3 CH3. Then here also the what is the well, we have to select the longest carbon chain. 1, 2, 3. So this is the longest carbon chain. That's why prope A. Prop A. Now what are the substituents? In second position, one methyl group is there, one methyl ethoxy group is there. That's why 2 ethoxy. 2 methyl, 2 ethoxy, 2 methyl propane. What is its name? 2 ethoxy, 2 methyl, 2 ethoxy, 2 methyl propane, 2 ethoxy, 2 methyl propane. Its name is 2 ethoxy, 2 methyl propane. So, this is the way our uh, naming of the ethers in both the ways in IUPAC system and in common system. In common system. Now, we are going to discuss how to prepare ethers. How to prepare ethers. There are several methods for this. I am going to discuss about all the methods. First one is from alcohols. From alcohols. From alcohols. We know that alcohols are the compounds containing OH group. Alcohols are the compounds containing OH group. Here, what is happening? When alcohols are treated with concentrated H2SO4, treated with concentrated H2SO4 at 140 degree centigrade, at 140 degree centigrade, ethers are formed. Ethers are formed. Here, the reaction is a dehydration reaction. The reaction is a dehydration. It is a bimolecular dehydration of alcohols. It is a bimolecular dehydration of alcohols. Here exactly what is happening when alcohols are treated with concentrated H2SO4 at 140 degree centigrade. Condensation reaction occurs and ethers are formed. Two alkyl groups are two uh, alcohols are condensing and forming ethers by removal of the smaller molecules such as water. Such as water. For example, if when ethanol is treated with ethanol is treated with concentrated H2SO4 at 140 degree centigrade, what we are getting is CH3, CH2O, CH2, CH3, CH2, CH3. So uh, this is the diethyl uh, diethoxy uh, diethyl ether, diethyl ether or ethoxy ethane is formed when Ethanol is treated with concentrated H2SO4 at 140 degrees centigrade. 140 degrees centigrade or 413 Kelvin. Or 413 Kelvin. Here, what is happening is bimolecular dehydration occurs and uh, ethers are formed. We know that. Here the alcohols are there three types of alcohols, primary alcohols, secondary alcohols and tertiary alcohols. If OH group is attached to the primary carbon, it is called primary alcohol. If OH group is attached to the secondary carbon are called secondary alcohol. If OH group is attached to the tertiary carbon are called tertiary alcohols. 
here what is the primary carbon if a carbon is attached to the only one carbon that is called primary carbon if oh group is attached to the primary carbon it is called primary alcohol if oh group is attached to the secondary carbon it is called secondary alcohol the carbon which is attached to the two other carbons is called secondary carbon the carbon which is attached to the three other carbons is called tertiary carbon tertiary carbon if oh is attached to the primary carbon it is a primary alcohol if oh is attached to the secondary carbon it is a secondary alcohol if oh group is attached to the tertiary carbon are called tertiary alcohols in objective point of view one important point um, the preparation of ethers from alcohols is primary alcohols only primary alcohols only on treatment with concentrated h2so4 at 140 degree centigrade gives ethers whereas secondary alcohols and tertiary alcohols secondary alcohols and tertiary alcohols the major product formed in this reaction when tertiary alcohol or second tertiary alcohol or secondary alcohol when treated with concentrated h2so4 at 140 degree centigrade the major product formed is alkene major product formed is alkene in major product formed is alkene here also ethers are also formed but the major product is alkene but not ether major product is alkene but not ether when primary alcohols are treated with uh, treated with uh, concentrated h2so4 at uh, 140 degree centigrade ethers are formed so this is the first reaction then second preparation method is williamson's synthesis williamson's ether synthesis Williamson ether synthesis. In Williamson synth ether synthesis, when alkyl halides are alkyl halides are treated with alkoxide, alkyl halides are treated with alkoxides. Here substitution reaction occurs. Nucleophilic substitution reaction occurs and ethers are formed. This reaction is known as Williamson's ether synthesis. What is Williamson's ether synthesis? When alkyl halides are treated with, when alkyl halides are treated with sodium or potassium alkoxide, ethers are formed. Ethers are formed. This reaction we are calling it as the Williamson's ether synthesis. Williamson's ether synthesis. For example, if you take when bromide is treated with sodium methoxide what is happening ch3 o ch3 for example c2h5 cl plus c2h5 o n a sodium alkoxide we get c2h5 o c2h5 similarly if you take ch3 cl plus c2h5 o n a we will get mixed ether ch3 o c2h5 so William in Williamson's synthesis, in Williamson's synthesis, when alkyl halides are treated with alkyl halides are treated with sodium alkoxides, sodium or potassium alkoxides, ethers are formed. Ethers are formed. This reaction we are calling it as the we are calling it as the uh, Williamson's ethers are formed. This reaction we are calling it as the Williamson's ether synthesis. Williamson's ether synthesis. So in any objective kind of example. For example, the, how the question will be asked. Suppose here they may give reactant and they may ask you to write the product. For example, when for a CH3Br treated with C2H5O-N, when treated with what is the product here? Product is C2H5O-CH3. Here Williamson senses occurs. Suppose they may ask you like this. Suppose they asked you to prepare CH3O um, like this. CH3. Suppose now what are the reactants? Then we may write it as the CH3Br plus C2H5ONA or CH, CH3ONA plus C2H5Br. 
if when alkyl group is when our, if alkyl group is primary we may take it as a uh, we may take it as a alkyl halide or alkoxide we may take it as a alkyl halide or alkoxide if alkyl group is one or one of the alkyl group is tertiary if one of the alkyl group is tertiary it should be taken as the alkoxide only it should be taken as the alkoxide only let me take one example if you take ch3br plus ch3 c ch3 ch3o then what is the what is my product here i will get ch3o ch3 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 suppose if i take like this what happens if i take tertiary alkyl group as the alkyl halide instead of either i will get the alkene as the major part alkene as the major part so here point is when if r o n a plus r x here or always should be primary or methyl this alkyl group in alkoxide it should be anything either methyl or primary or secondary or tertiary or tertiary if uh, the alkyl group is the tertiary alkyl or secondary alkyl group is taken as the alkyl halide and the alkoxide as the primary one the major product is what we will get alkene instead of ether instead of ether here the reason is it is a instead of a nucleophilic nucleophile it is reacting as a good base ch3o na acting as a good base that's why it removes the proton and forms the alkene or in this reaction it is forming a, it is occurring as a nucleophilic substitution reaction and uh, this williamson synthesis follows sn2 mechanism sn2 mechanism williamson synthesis follows sn2 mechanism in williamson synthesis uh, sn2 attack of the alkoxide ion or uh, sn2 attack of the alkoxide ion on an anhydride primary alkyl halide the alkoxide ion attacks the alkyl halide from the back side of the alkyl halide from an unhindered position that's why here it follows the sn2 mechanism nucleophilic substitution by molecular reaction mechanism suppose if they asked you to write try how to prepare this oh ch then how we will take sodium phenoxide plus ch3br this is a williamson synthesis this is a williamson's synthesis now the third method is from alkyl halides third method is from alkyl halide from alkyl halides when alkyl halides are treated with when alkyl halides are treated with dry silver oxide dry silver oxide we will get ethers we will get ethers when alkyl halides are treated with dry silver oxide dry silver oxide we will get ethers if they treated with moist silver oxide moist silver oxide we will get alcohols moist silver oxide we will get alcohols as the major product alcohols as the major product when alkyl halides are treated with dry silver oxide ethers are formed if they reacted with moist silver oxide they form alcohols they form alcohols this is the third method so far we have discussed three methods one is from alcohols in uh, when alcohols are treated with concentrated rich so forth at 140 degrees centigrade we will get ethers we will get ethers second one is uh, williamson's ether synthesis when alkyl halides are treated with when alkyl halides are treated with alkoxides sodium or potassium alkoxides ethers are formed third one is alkoxy mercuration and demercuration alkoxy 
mercuration and demercuration alkoxy mercuration and demercuration demercuration to synthesize ethers to synthesize ethers this reaction is alkoxy mercuration and demercuration or uh, reaction when alkenes are treated with when alkenes are treated with we know that the compounds having carbon carbon double bond are called all uh, alkenes when alkenes are treated with mercuric acetate mercuric acetate when alcohols are treated with mercuric acetate what happens in the presence of alcohols alcohols with alcohols when alkenes are treated with when alkenes are treated with mercuric acetate in the presence of alcohol what is happening is here like this and o r h g o c double bond o c h c double bond o c h then then when this one treated with sodium borohydrate you will get o r h this is called oxy merc alkoxy mercuration and demercuration alkoxy mercuration and demercuration here the what uh, alkoxy group is coming from the alcohol alkoxy group is coming from the alcohol so these are the four methods of preparation of ethers so uh, thank you for watching trinad chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel